Well, it's not every day you get called up into the big leagues to play for one of the most storied programs in the NHL, the Boston Bruins. That's what happened for 23-year-old former NMU hockey player Justin Florek. The Bruins recalled Florek from Providence of the AHL prior to today's game. He is the first Marquette native to be called up to play in the NHL. To celebrate the occasion, a group of his family and friends gathered inside Buffalo Wild Wings to watch his NHL debut on national TV as the Bruins face the Winnipeg Jets. And in another fun twist it was also his father's birthday uh, it's, it's very cool it's a dream that every kid parent everybody dreams of happening and today it uh, dream came true uh, yeah I was at work and uh, got a phone call said uh, dad you might want to take off early and go watch the game uh, play at one o'clock Florek finished with just over 10 minutes of ice time and a shot on goal as the Bruins won 4-1 over the Jets. And some encouraging news, there is a chance he could join Boston for their three-game road trip to the West Coast. And in some more hockey scores around the league, Novi beats Hancock 7-3, while Brighton blanks Calumet 8-0. The Redmen fall 2-1 to Gross Point North. Plus, in the Jeffers New Year's Invitational, Escanaba wins big 11-3, while Jeffers skates by Sheboygan 5-4. In the WCHA, Michigan Tech travels to Lake State and they come out victorious as Tanner Caro scores the game-winning goal in the third as the Huskies win 3-2. NMU comes down on top on the road as well. 3-1 over Bemidji State behind the scoring efforts of Cohen Adair, Stefan Vijay, and Jake Baker. And finally, Bowling Green tops Alabama Huntsville 4-1 while Minnesota State and Alaska are currently tied at 1 in the second period. To some GLIAC basketball we go. The NMU women hosted Ohio Dominican to the second half. NMU trailing by one as Abby DeBruin finds Alyssa Cola. She knocks down a clutch three. She finished with a game high 20 points. Lead is back to 253-51. Later, Lauren Gruber answers with another clutch three for the Wildcats. They're back on top 59-57. Now here is a nice rebound and put back for Alex Hallen back for the Panthers here, and that'll cut the Wildcat lead to 61-59. So last play here is going to be Tori Beth Leader and her shot just clangs off the rim here as NMU holds on to win 61-59. They're a perfect 6-0 in the GLIAC. Over to the men's game in this doubleheader against Ohio Dominican. Bill Saul's club looking for their second straight GLIAC win. To the first half, Panthers up 7 as Chad Nelson finds Jordan Calgill. And look at this, ball rolls around the rim and falls into the basket as they lead by 9. But the Wildcats win on a mini run here as Marcus Hall ties it up at 20 with a triple from downtown. He finished with a game-high 16 points. Enemy was just getting started. Chavis Madison uses the glass for the pull-up jumper. He finished with a double-double, 13 points, 10 boards. The Wildcats would end the first half on a 16-0 run as they ran away with this victory 75-52 over Ohio Dominican. Up to Houghton we go as the Michigan Tech women had some foul trouble early in the second half against Tiffin. The bench pick picked up the slack. Paige Alby to Taylor Stipple. And she makes a strong move to the basket for two. She scored eight points. It's 35-30 Tech. A couple minutes later, Albie powers through the lane for two. She had nine points. It's 40-32 Huskies. But the Dragons kept battling. Carly Mast knocks down the three plus a foul. So it's a four-point play that enabled Tiffin to take a 61-60 lead. But Mackenzie Pertu drains a triple to give Tech a two-point lead. 63-61. Pertu top Tech with 20 points and nine rebounds as the Huskies survive a determined Tiffin effort 68 to 61. Kylie Moxley Ollie also added 19 points for Tech. The Tech men would not allow Tiffin to make a run in the second half. Here we go on the inbounds pass. Alex Cooley will find Cedarville's Connor McLeod for three. Tech leads 43-30. And big day for McLeod. He had 10 points and six boards in 15 minutes. He also had two assists. One here to Ben Stelzer for three. Huskies on top by 18 points, 48-30. Austin Armga, of course, paced the Huskies with 19 points, and two of these came off the pass from Jason Hawk. Tech cruises to a 67-44 victory, holding the Dragons to 18 points in the second half. In some more GLIAC scores, the Lake Superior State women fall 60-57 to Ashland, while the men get a 9-point win as Derek Billing led five shooters in double figures with 17 points. In Hancock, some more hoops. It's Finlandia hosting St. Scholastica. Women's game second half as 
Burke, that's Marissa Burke, who pours in 31 points off the bucket, and she also had nine rebounds. Short time later, Paige Yoho to Haley Gervais, and she buries the three-point shot. She had 19 points and eight boards. The Lions sank 10 three-point shots, but could not overcome a 13-point deficit as they drop a 66-62 decision to St. Scholastica. Meanwhile, Terry Smith's Finlandia men's team also tried to rally in the second half. Brandon Robinson had an outstanding game. The drive, spin, and layup. Then he tells his opponent, you simply just cannot guard me. Next possession, Robinson strikes again with a penetration and the score. He ended up with 35 points and five steals. Andrew Johnston here spots Keith Arnold, drives and puts it into the bucket for 18 points as well. As St. Scholasco wins by 30, 74, 71 over the Lions. And in boys basketball, Flint Academy wins by 30 over Detour, 55 to 25. And the St. Ignace Gladstone game has been postponed due to weather.